What's up everybody out there in Cyberland? This is the Grateful Chef episode 5 today. So check it out. Went to the grocery store and uh, picked up some chicken breasts. And what I did was I chopped them up, actually took the whole breast, cut it in half, and then cubed it. So I got a bunch of chicken out of that. And what I did was I took a Ziploc bag, put oh, about a half a cup of flour in there, not too much, and I took dried oregano, dried basil, um, a little pepper, and a little bit of paprika, put it into the bag, put it around, put the chicken in, gave it a nice shake, got all the chicken coated, and when I took the chicken out of the Ziploc bag, I made sure that almost all of the flour came off. We want just a very light coating of flour. And then I took them, I put them into this uh, saute pan here. I cooked them down just so they get a little nice and crunchy, got a nice coating on the outside of it. And I removed them from that pan. And what I did was, I got a little heat going here, put a little chicken stock. I like to use the low sodium chicken stock for all of us who have blood pressure problems. I also have a little shot of white Zinfandel that I'm going to throw in here. Just a little shot for taste. Make the sauce taste unbelievable. I'm going to bring this up to temperature. Wipe my hands off real quick. Now, as soon as this comes up, a couple of seconds here. And what, what, why did I put all that liquid into that pan? I deglazed the pan. What does deglazing mean? Well, it means that I took all those bits that stuck to the bottom of the pan and brought them up. Okay, and that adds to all the flavor that we're going to get into this dish here. All right, this is coming up nice and well. Look at all those bits. Can you zoom in on that, Lori? Look at all those nice bits that I got off of that. And that's all flavor in there, folks. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my chicken back in. Nice and gently. Don't be throwing your chicken in here. Respect your food. Look at that. Beautiful. Set that aside for a minute. Okay, that's going to come back to temperature now with all that nice sauce that I put in there. Right, now, here we go. I have two teaspoons of pesto. What is pesto? Pesto traditionally is pignoli nuts, garlic, basil, and olive oil. I left out the pignoli nuts. Okay, we're just going to drizzle a little more pesto in here. Beautiful. Bringing that up to temperature. Fresh oregano, always fresh. Beautiful. A little bit more. Fresh basil, chopped. Okay, perfect. Now what I have here, can you zoom in on this? I have capers in here. Now the trick to capers, when they come in the can, they're actually in salt water. So what I did, or actually my wife Lori did, she put them in a strainer and just rinsed them to get all that salt off. We like to control the salt that goes into our food. Okay, and what I did is, you see a little liquid in there, that's just olive oil. So I'm just gonna put my capers in here. Beautiful. I have uh, how many, uh, I have a half a can of green olives. Go right in here. Just arrange it any way you like. Okay, now, here we start getting to the good stuff. I have one whole jar of fire roasted red peppers. Just cut them up into chunks, bite-sized pieces. These are going to go in. Remember, use your hands, folks. Always use your hands. Now, this is unbelievable right here. These are artichoke bottoms. Now, normally you see the artichokes in the store, and it still has that little fibrous piece to it and a bunch of leaves. Well, these, believe it or not, are just the bottoms, which are the treasured part of the artichoke. So I'm just going to add these in here. Oh, Perfect. And lastly, 
I have eight ounces of mozzarella that my wife was kind enough to uh, cube up for me. And I'm just going to arrange this strategically throughout the pan. Now the trick here, with all these ingredients we have in here, I'm just going to cover it for a couple of minutes just so it gets a little steam going in there. In the meantime, I have some trivia for you. As you can hear in the background, a lot of people have been coming up with great comments to me and I certainly appreciate them. Keep them coming. Um, as you can hear in the background, I got a little eyes of the world going. And believe it or not, can you tell me, I got a trivia question, can you tell me the only show that the Grateful Dead opened with Eyes of the World? When we come back, I'm going to give you the answer to that, okay? So here we got our chicken sink, that's what we're calling our dish today. It's coming up to temperature. The next thing I'm going to do is put my broiler on. Once that comes up to temperature, I'm going to take the lid off, I'm going to put it in the oven just to melt the mozzarella and get all that, those nice vegetables on top a little crunchy. Okay, so let me see how we're making out here. Looks great. Still not up to temperature yet. So when we come back, I have some mini penne that I'm going to cook off. That's going to go on the bottom. This is going to go on the top. Chicken sink today on The Grateful Chef. Stay right there. I'll be back in two minutes. Hey, welcome back to The Grateful Chef, episode five. Today is the chicken sink. Just a little anecdote. I went out and bought my chicken breasts today and I just basically raided the fridge and found whatever I wanted to throw into this little mixture. So like I said before, I put this on broil just to melt my cheese and the vegetables and look at that. I mean, come on folks. That's some good stuff right there. I got my macaroni. I got the answer to my trivial pursuit question. Name the only show that the Grateful Dead opened with Eyes of the World. That was June 17th, 1991 at Giant Stadium. I was lucky enough to be there. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoy the dish. I'll see you next time on The Grateful Chef. Peace.